Welcome. Good morning. Um, my name is Winchell Dillenbeck. I am an AHA board member. I have some prepared written comments if you would like copies of them. And you might want to pull the microphone up a little higher. Yes. I'm working with my um, reading glasses, always a chore. Homelessness continues to be a serious problem in Humboldt County. Rural homelessness is diverse. People from all walks of life, including families with children, employed and unemployed workers, elderly residents, veterans, disabled individuals, youth, and individuals are impacted by homelessness. Every community reports homelessness to be a challenge. Bigger communities often note the lack of affordable housing and essential supports, mental health, addictions, domestic violence, to be a major challenge in addressing homelessness. In rural centers, this issue is even more acute. There simply is not enough funding and service capacity to offer diverse supports needed. Lance Morton, a member of the Human Rights Commission, recently stated that there is no political will to solve the homeless problem. Lynette Mullen, the Homeless Services Program Manager, recently concluded in her report to the Human Rights Commission that there was no comprehensive housing strategy. There is a shortage of affordable housing in Humboldt County. Affordable housing units have multiple problems. New housing developments are slow to be built with complex zoning laws. The shortage of affordable housing leaves many residents on long waiting lists for subsidized housing. The partnerships are often <clears throat> Excuse me. The, short, the partnerships are often with private real estate developers in the private sector, which makes low-wage earners unable to afford the new housing developments. Transitioning from temporary to permanent housing is difficult due to shortage. People are upset about the encampments and people on the street, whether it is because they feel sorry for them or because they do not like them. Tiny house villages and sanctuary camps are a necessary intermediate step until enough affording, affordable housing can be built. I urge the Board of Supervisors to place a shelter crisis declaration on the agenda. Doing so will allow public input and discussion. Thank you, Winchell. All right, thank you very much, and thank you for bringing it in writing also. Whoops, hold on just a moment. Sorry. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you. I'm Chip Sharp, a resident of Bayside. 